Hey guys and welcome to another video. Today we are going to be covering 5 awesome base locations in Subnautica. So let's get into the video, shall we? So at number 5 we have a base located in the Kelp Biome. Now the reason this base is so cool is because 1. It's centered in uh, the Kelp Biome which is pretty close to the grassy plateaus, at least in this area. And has this nice arc as you see on video. And at night with the filmic filter it gets really dark here so you, if you have the glowy parts in a plant uh, area then it looks really cool and if you put some light here it's going to look very nice at night uh, it's a very useful location and it's a very beautiful location to build a base at because I mean just look at the cal biome how can you not like the cal biome and the arc can be uh, used for some cool observatory locations and you can put the moon pole at the edge uh, close to the red plains or grass plateaus all in all very nice base location and all your basic resources are in the area and it's not too far from the live pod either now at number four we have a base located in the mushroom forest. Now there's a massive tree and this is a pretty popular base location throughout most Subnautica players as I've seen so on the internet and some base builds from some other people. It's a really cool place to build and you can get your basic blueprints for your cyclops and some other stuff pretty easily in the mushroom forest. Some resources are hard to come by but most is easy to get. Now it might be a bit tricky to build here because there are bone sharks and they will attack you occasionally. So you want to watch out for those if you're doing it on survival and if you do in creative well we can just go and build here all uh, at the start without any issues or worrying about the bone sharks so at number three we have a very nice base located in the center of a kelp biome the grassy plateaus and the safe shallows and it's very close to the live pod and this area is very nice and you'll have to use solar panels for energy as the thermal vent is quite far away but you can use connectors now this place is awesome as it's a very open area and you can have a lot of possibilities from the cliffs to build your base uh, if you wish to you can go and make it in the grass plateaus in the safe shallows or at the kelp and all your resources are located around you which is very nice and it's pretty safe no reapers come here and there are no real predators except for the occasional starker that comes there so yeah all in all very nice base location now at number two we have a base located in the lost river now no starting player is going to make the first base here as it's pretty end game but once you get here and you get a base established here by using your cyclops to bring materials and stuff like that it's so worth it i mean just look at this place it's really gorgeous and it's one of the you know more useful places to make a base uh the only problem is there are some hostile creatures and there is a ghost of ivan as you see in the video which is kind of dangerous other than that, it's truly an amazing spot to build a base and very worth it once you finish your base here. Heck, you can even make a base under the Acid River where you can normally only get with the prawn suit. So that's pretty cool if you make a base there, especially if it's glass. Trust me, it's very nice. Now for the final base location and in no particular order, we have a base located in the kelp biome centered between the safe shallows, grassy plateaus. And that's pretty nice because you can get all your resources like this and there's a thermal vent very nearby as you guys will see in, in a beacon in just a second and this huge pillar with algae on it has a huge variety of options to build bases on and if you have a great imagination I'm sure you can build a amazing base here nearby there's also a safe shallows area which you can make a nice base at if you wish to with some nice cliffs and all in all, it's a very nice base. And of course, the kelp biome is just gorgeous. As you see, the lighting will change, especially once I go inside the kelpie-ish area and then it gets all green. I'm just going to show you guys the thermal vent here. It's like 100 meters away. So you can easily power your base with huge amounts of thermal vents and all kind of nice uh, or thermal generators. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want some Nautica guides, I'll leave them in the card section or in the screen section of the video because I have a huge variety of Subnautica guides. If you want more top five base locations or more base locations in general, just let me know down in the comments below. Catch you guys later. Peace.